This is a demo of how hierarchy works in Rally, um, in particular with a focus on Kanban. Some people call this a board of boards or a Kanban board of Kanban boards concept. So the first thing I'd like to explain is, is the two main hierarchies that dominate the experience in Rally. The first is the team or project hierarchy. So this drop down here in Rally gives you a tree, shows you a tree of all the projects or teams that are currently working in Rally. And this acts as a global filter, a global scope setting. So you can show only the work that a particular team or sub-team, and you can go up to a sort of a macro team level as well to look at that. And, and the team that I, I deal with mostly is called the A-team. And we've broken down our work into, into these little sub-projects. These are not separate teams, actually, though. Um, so you can use this either for projects or for team. Most people use it for team at some level, and then maybe there's a level below that that's, that's really project-oriented, or maybe there's a level above that that's really where multiple teams are working together um, in a big product line area. But once you set that in Rally, um, everything else is filtered. The entire user experience reports, everything is filtered based upon that scope setting. So. The screen I'm looking at right now is a custom view, but it, it, it's, it's a pretty standard one um, at the initiative level. And so this is the, the second hierarchy I want to talk about. Hierarchy in Rally for stories or for work items, or you might even think of it as a work breakdown structure. So the initiative that we're working on right now is called the Time Machine API. And it's got these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different enhancements, we call them. Um, we also have tech enablers as well. So some of these are actually tech enablers. Tech enablers and enhancements are at the same level. They're at a level below initiatives. Initiatives is where we get funded. Enhancements and enablers is really where the POs end up doing most of their analysis. And then there's a level below that that um, is where the team ends up working. And this can actually be several levels deep. So for instance, this, this is all team level work, but they've, uh, the team has decided to break this particular part down into, into another level as well. So you can have n levels of hierarchy in your work breakdown structure um, for Rally, and uh, you can organize the work this way. So this doesn't sound very Kanban or maybe even very agile at this point. So let me show you how this plays out actually um, when the team starts to work with it. I'm going to go over to the team's Kanban board here. And this is the work that they're actively working on, on, on right now. There's uh, these columns, these Kanban states that are supported. And, and the team got to decide that. So you can have a different Kanban definition per team or sub-team. Um, you set that, you create that in this settings panel here um, in Rally. We also have this canonical mapping to this schedule state field so that when you want to roll up state, you want to look at it at a higher level, each team can have their own Kanban definition, their own Kanban board, but you can still get a macro view of, of, of what's going on. And, and all of our metrics key off of this at the macro level, at the, at the team level, at the, uh, sorry, organizational level. But if you wanted to, we're working on uh, this project right now, actually, you can get metrics down at your team level that, that take into account your own Kanban definition. So this is the team's level board. They have these things in dev. When you um, mark this checkbox there that says it's ready, and then the next column can pull it in, the person who wants to, to, to work in that next column. And we encourage the team to um, work from the right to the left. These things here are all ready to go out this weekend. So they're all merged. And they won't, they'll move to this column when um, the release goes out on Saturday. Um, this is stuff that's accepted, but this one is not accepted yet. I'm still talking to the dev and, and trying to figure out whether or not um, there needs to be another story written to split some of this work out. And that would then go back into the backlog here um, to get to go through the board as a separate as a separate story. We also have the concept of blocked. And so this story is blocked. We're waiting on another team, the, our ops team, um, to tell us uh, some feedback before we decide that we've, we think this is signed off on. And there's some warnings here. This one has been in this column um, for four days, and this one's been in this column for 18 days. Typically, something is in the dev column for a few days, and, and that's normal. Um, anything over that, um, and, and we start to try to talk about it. So there's, there's some good reasons why this one is here. Uh, we probably should have split it out into separate stories, but we didn't, and we decided not to do the paperwork. So the team is OK with that decision, and, and, and that is up to the team. So 
we wanted to talk about hierarchy, board of boards. I've just explained the, the team level board for Rally. Let me go up one level and look at the enhancement bond board. This is a, a, a level above the team level work. These are the enhancements. This is the level below initiatives. Um, this is where the, the POs end up doing a lot of their work. They um, will follow up on things. This stuff is in um, our on-demand product, our SaaS product, but it hasn't yet been shipped to our on-prem customers yet because we have to mail them a disk. Um, we don't only do that quarterly. So this is an inventory for our on-prem customers. and We can track how long stuff ends up staying in that in that inventory. Um, and these things need some work to be done before they will work on the on the on-prem. The on-prem team will take care of that work. So I don't need to I don't need to use my own team to take care of that work. But that's sort of a an indicator of that. So that's some stuff that happens after um, the enhancement rolls out, feedback as well. Um, there's some stuff that happens before that, analysis um, that's ongoing before I give it to the team. And then these two columns here overlap with the team level board that I saw. So anything that's in these two columns is also going to show up on that lower level board that the, that the, that the team had. So, so keep in mind, though, that that level that the team's working at is the story level, but this level is the enhancement. So the act of getting something f during the analysis phase for the product owner is known into sub-stories, sometimes with the team's help, at, to be separate stories that then flow through their more finely grained process uh, at the team level. There's another tool that I use um, for myself for planning um, to track these four columns myself to get ready for the team. Um, so I have another board here that's at the same level as the team board. It, they, these two columns overlap with the team's process, but these three columns are not shown to the team. This is where I'm thinking. This is where me as a PO, I'm, I'm sort of figuring out what the specs should be, what the acceptance criteria should be. So at the enhancement bond level, I break down the stories. I decompose the stories, uh, the enhancements, I should say, down into stories that then show up on this board, uh, typically first in this column, where I'll refine them a little bit more before I, I get them ready to go to the team. So there might be several, there might, there's, might be six or seven stories for a single enhancement um, at, the, at the upper level. So you have the story hierarchy, but then you, you have different Kanban boards. The PO can focus at the lower level, the PO can focus at the upper level, the team can just focus at the lower level for these things. I may be communicating with other stakeholders to try to find out what it is. And when it's ready, I'll drag it into here and then it'll automatically show up in the initial AC column for the team. Initial AC column says that the team needs to go over the acceptance criteria, make sure they understand them. We'll do an estimate for it. We'll probably refine them greatly, maybe do a little bit of design work as a team. So these are all things that are ready for some design discussion um, with the team. Sometimes it's very quick. It's a couple minutes. Yeah, we know how to do that. So the next thing I wanted to show you was um, Stratus. So Stratus is a preview product right now, but we're turning it into um, a core product inside of Rally um, here shortly. Let me resize this a little bit. So in one way, Stratus overlaps with the, the, the view you saw, the enhancement bond view. These are the same enhancements, the same columns, um, in dev, Rally rollout prep. If you scroll over here, the things I talked about, um, for on-demand and on-prem are also over there as well. Um, but you can, you, the, the primary role of Stratus is really portfolio management. And so this is the level that we'll end up uh, using Stratus uh, the most, especially when we turn it into a product inside, the, inside of uh, the, main, the main UI. Um, so you can, you can look at it just with the A-team level, the scope setting that we have in the, in the other product. And this overlaps with the initiatives that I saw. This is the only one that's in progress right now. And these other uh, four are ones that are, I'm either making the business case for to get funding or I'm thinking about for the future. Um, but I can go up a level and I can um, look at all the team's initiatives um, in one shot. And this is all the team's initiatives. And then I can even focus, and there's another dimension I can focus, by the allocation um, parameter. So reporting is the allocation I typically end up working under. But some of my team ends up doing integrations work as well. So I have a couple of initiatives um, in progress under, under integrations work. So this is the perspective, this, this allocation perspective, that our portfolio council deals with. You can do 
what-if analysis, we can look at the timeline for all of the initiatives in progress, we can just filter them down to um, a particular allocation to look at one, we can do what-if analysis, see when things are likely to finish, if they get more or less of an allocation. Um, that's the whole idea behind, behind our portfolio management product, Stratus. So there you have it, hierarchy, board of boards, Kanban concept in Rally.